Hey guys, so it's time for me to do another D-Stash video. Um, I bought all this from one friend, uh, two, two separate parcels. I only bought a certain amount of this and she sent me so many freebies. So I've dedicated this whole video just to her. Uh, I'm going to zoom out a bit so you guys can see. All this and I all, all I bought the Glitterati, the Rose Girls and the Sassy and everything else was free. Um, so I've grabbed my cup of tea in my Jack mug and we're going to get through the smelling. Some of these I haven't sniffed yet um, purely because I don't want to open the packaging, it just looks so good. Um, specifically this teddy here, I don't want to open him, he looks so nice in there. Um, everything else I've smelt already. I'm going to jump straight in with my sassy. So the first thing is blueberry zucchini and this is a chunk bag. Um, the bag is full. Uh, this is one chunk. So this is blueberry and zucchini bread. And blueberry is blueberry, strawberry, and raspberry I think if I remember rightly. So both of these scents I do like so I knew I liked this chunk bag. Yeah that's that's gonna get melted a lot. And I think I've got six chunks in there. So I've got a lot there. So that's that one. And I've also got a scent shot here in chocolate orchid. Now I know people try and stay away from chocolate, and I do too, but I've heard so much about this that the chocolate is not actually as strong as you'd think. It's more orchid and flowery, which is more me. Um, yeah, the orchid, it just stands out, even on the bottom. I can't really smell the sweetness of the chocolate, but I can smell the orchid, and it smells so nice. So this is going to be two melts for me. That's quite a, a big melt pot. Oh, they do last a while, these sassy ones, so that's going to be a great one. This one here, I've had fluff puffs from Rose Girls before. I've never had the crazy pants fluff puffs, and I knew I wanted to try this. So I've got a whole bag here, which is my first Rose Girls bag as well. And these chunks I would cut up twice as well, so I've actually got ten melts here instead of five. Um, I don't have the scent notes to this. But Fluff Puffs is marshmallow. And Crazy Pants must be some sort of sweet bakery, which isn't normally my scent note, but this is really nice. You smell obviously more of Fluff Puffs. Um, I wonder if it's raspberry actually. I can smell some sort of raspberry in there as well. But those, the chunks are adorable, and yeah, that is definitely a cut in half melt for me. That would kick me out of my room if I used all that. So that's that one. Um, I then bought a Glitterati D stash from her. And these actually came in her last box. She won one of the mystery, I think it's a mystery box. Or a flash sale, I'm not too sure. Um, and she didn't like these scents, so she asked me if I'd like them. And there were four, and I only passed up on one of them because it wasn't really my scent note. But these are the three that I've decided to get. So the first one is Clean Air Mac Apple. And I have had Clean Air before. I've got it cut up already in my box. Um, so this one is just the same scent notes with Mac Apple as well. And it is a scent to me. It is definitely that. It's more the Mac Apple than the Clean Air scent. But you do still get like the laundry scent to it. And the colours are amazing. So I'm going to go through Clean Air before I go through this one. Like the pure a bit more. Um, definitely one of my favourites though. Um, this one here, I've never heard of before. This is Three Wishes Tea. I haven't looked at the scent notes for this one either, but I can imagine it's just a base note of tea and a few others. This is really sticky, this one, for some reason. Yeah. Base note of tea with some sort of fruit in it, but only a light fruit, like honeydew or something. Yeah, it's very sticky. It makes you. That one needs to be cut up and put somewhere. I'm wondering why that one's melting actually. So, put that in there. 
And then this one I've been noticing on the Glitterati page for ages and I've wanted to try it. So as soon as she said that she had this one, I was like, yes please, that's mine. Um, oh yeah, it's tart fruit definitely. The strawberries, sort of a, a mango-y scent. Definitely strawberries and raspberries, that sort of thing. And then a slight undernote of tea. But it's sort of a more fresh green tea, sort of an England sort of an English tea and it's going to be one of my favourites I can tell already just on cold I'm going to give it a little more time I'm going to, I'm going to go through some of my other glitterati that I've got now I've actually now got 8 chunks and a scent chart so I'm doing alright I don't really need to buy any more um, but everything else you see at the front of here I got all of them as freebies which is wow Wendy you did not need to send me all this <laughs> Um, the one I don't want to open because I pretty much know the scent out already is Flame and Star Scent Blueberry. So, unfortunately, the teddy did break its leg, right? but he is the cutest little teddy. I'm not ever going to want to melt him, I don't think. Um, so, this is strawberry, raspberry, that sort of thing, blueberry is. So, he's going to be a while till he's getting melted. And this one here is Magic Confections in Lizzie's Tree Rings. I've heard of this group and I've been wanting to try some of their stuff. Now Tree Rings, it smells definitely outdoorsy. Bit more, bit of a man cologne but not, not too much. I can, I can deal with it sort of thing. And kind of maybe a sort of a lemon fresh. Yeah, this can be a nice one. I'd, I'm only going to need one melt at a time with that one for my melter. And the next one here is Moon Fairy Creations, and I have actually got some Moon Fairy that I'm waiting to try. Um, this one is two melts. And I don't really get anything from this. I don't know what it's meant to smell like, or whether it needs more, more curing. There's no cure date on it. But I'm not smelling anything from it. Just like I am now so I might give it a bit more time to cure and then I'll pop half of that in the melter and see how it does the next one here I was really excited about this is rainbow melts and watermelon punch and I've wanted to try rainbow melts for such a long time and I've heard so many good things about them um, so yeah this is a straight up smack you in the face watermelon sweet tart fruity Amazing, definitely. Can't wait to melt that one, and that would be two melts for me, or else I'll be kicked out of my room again. This one here just says blueberry, so it's a mystery sample, just one square. I have already sniffed this, this is definitely a uh, tart blueberry with some sort of bakery and undernote as well. Um, so that'll be melted soon. And I've got two cubes here, I can't remember what group, what um, vendor this is, but I've always looked at their cubes and thought that's a perfect size for me. Um, this just shows that um, Wendy really knows my scent notes because lemon lavender is perfect for me. And these are so hard to get out. There we go. And it is exactly that. Lemon lavender, maybe a bit of vanilla as well, but it's more of a, a herbal lavender, that one. So that might be a nice nighttime scent. And then this one here is Rose Me Rint, and that is infused with organic herbs. So, very good for me. They're so hard to open. There we go, I'll show you that one. There are the herbs on top. Definitely get the mint. Like it hits you at the back of the throat sort of thing. That one I'm definitely going to wait until I have a cold to melt because I think that would just kill me to melt um, on a normal day. So, but it smells really nice. I definitely want to smell the lavender on top. Yeah, I've got two more here. This one here is Sweet Treat to Axe Walk on the Beach. I have already sent, um, uh, sniffed this one. It is definitely coconut suntan lotion. It is definitely a beachy scent. This will be two melts for me. Um, bring on the sun and then I'll try this one. <laughs> and then this last one here, 
sweet sage scent. I've never heard of these, um, but they're not not a huge brown eyed girl, which I am. Um, try and get this out quick so I don't make too much noise. These are fluted tarts, and this is a mild bakery with some sort of perfume note, maybe pink sugar. But yeah, it's, it's one I'm gonna have to try and melt. I will cut these into two, or else I will be knocked out of my room. Um, so I've got four melts here. So everything here, I am so grateful for. So grateful for Wendy for getting me all this. Um, it was an awesome gift stash. I'm not going to be buying for a little while. I've got a few things coming this week, but that's it for me then. Um, I'm going to try and melt through a few things because I am getting past my box now. Um, so I will start showing you my weekly melting um, and some more monthly melted. So you'll see more of those weekly. Uh, until then, thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Bye.